What's up fellas, we're back here at Shepherd's Hill Bowl. I'm going to explain today a how to on how to jump and I'm going to be going through the steps of the run in, take off, landing and then I'll show you a couple of ways to put some style to it. Here we go, play the intro. Okay, so first step, we're at the top of the run-in and you really just want to clear your mind and you want to be really relaxed about it, especially hitting a new jump. And you just got to spot your speed when you're running in, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so now we're at the start of the takeoff and with judging speed to hit the jump, it really comes with experience. Uh, hitting jumps many a times, but first up you just want to start with a small jump as we got right now Just to sort of get to know speed and with the air and stuff So with preparation at the bottom of the jump, you really want to compress It's called the compression phase of taking off and you want to bend your knees into this If you've got a shock like mine's got, you really want to compress that If it's a hard tail, you just want to bend your knees into the bottom of the jump and now I'll be moving on to the takeoff. Okay, so I'll show you how that looks. Okay, so now we're at the takeoff phase. You really gotta extend your legs so they're nice and straight, which will then make the shock rebound, which will pop you up into the air. And then you'll have to control your bike through the air, which is the next stage we gotta talk about. Okay, so we'll show you what the rebound phase or the takeoff phase of jumping looks like. Okay, so we've just finished the takeoff phase. We're we'll talking about mid-air control. Uh, so first of all, if you're leaning too far forward, you really want to get on the back of the bike so you can counteract the weight. And then if you're leaning too far backward, you want to be leaning forward so that it, the bike comes forward as well. And later on, we'll be talking about mid-air control with style. But for now, we'll just talk about straight jumps. We'll show you how that looks. So this first example is going to be when you lean too far back. As you can see in the air, he was leant too far back and if he landed wrong, he could have fallen back on his bike. Right, so this is going to be an example of what happens if you lean too far forward on the jump. So as you can see, he didn't clear the jump and if he locked up his front brakes, he was going to end up going over the bars. So now we're going to show you an example of a perfect jump. So when you take off at the right speed and are flat in the air so as you can see he landed the jump perfectly didn't case it so that happens with a lot of practice so come to a place like the shepherd's hill bowl or a jump you build yourself or something like that start small and work your way up okay so for this last phase we're going to talk about landing which sort of goes hand in hand with mid-air control as for example if you're leaning too far forward It'll mean you're unstable for the landing, which doesn't allow you to line up for the line of jumps that you're trying to hit. So now that we're leading into the line of jumps, I'll quickly show you how to line up a line of jumps. Okay, so this next trick we'll be doing is a manual and I'll be doing it over this first jump here. Okay, so this next trick that we'll be doing is the whip. I'll show you that right now. Completed. Start this video on how to jump. If you want to learn more on how to add some style and the fine details of that, please go check out our channel. This is the end of this episode. And we'll oh. see you next time. So I can learn how to